Hi everybody! I've been experimenting again. Um, when I was uh, watching the videos from the um, Valentine's Day with Talk to Finesse K-Hop, um, Erla, and I'm sorry Erla, I'm not even going to attempt to say your last name <laughs> because I will totally destroy it, but Erla um, had made a gorgeous card and some of the embellishments that she used were um, pieces that she made with mold using molds um, but instead of putting resin in the molds she put modeling paste um, or molding paste whichever you want to call it um, it was the uh, golden molding paste and they just look so awesome I had to try it and she left a link to the channel that inspired her uh, which is 47CMC and I'll put a link to Erla's channel as well as 47CMC down below in the description box because this is just so freaking cool. It's a lot more work honestly than uh, than doing resin <coughs> because of the cleanup especially with the fine detail ones but what I absolutely love is that they're lightweight and they are flexible which is so awesome there's just so many possibilities love 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 so since I was doing it I got a bunch of molds out I was like okay well let me do it and get a bunch done and see how it goes um, one thing that I will tell you is that if you're going to do this do not use a gift card or you know, plastic card that has any kind of color because somehow some colors started bleeding out into um, the molding paste in little spots and um, unfortunately these are supposed to be paintable I don't imagine why they wouldn't be since they take sprays and paints when you use use it as like a texture paste on canvases or what have you um, so I'm not too worried about uh, the little spots of color that came out but just for your own information if you want to keep the natural color do not use anything to spread the molding paste into the uh, the molds that has any kind of color in it um, but just, so I'll just go ahead and share with you some of the pieces and actually I should get a piece of black cardstock figuring the fabric would be okay but or maybe I'll just zoom in from here and bring the pieces in which way where am I there we go Okay, so butterfly. There's a couple of those. And there were a couple of the um, butterfly profiles. And you can see in here some of the blue specks. And I did some little doily ones. And a lot of my molds, you know, with the doilies and things like that, um, a lot of them I got from NSK. And then other, others I found online looking for, like, um, fondant molds and things like that. And here is a really pretty lace one. That's, that's a small piece. And another pretty little lace. And this was part of a really large mold. But this is five doilies, little doilies, and I already have a project in mind for, for using these. 
I am going to get that piece of black cardstock because it's really hard to see the detail. got a tiny little piece missing out of it but this is just super super cool this is a larger doily this is like the small hexagon But, I mean, it too. I mean, they're flexible. So you can very easily cut them down to size if you need to, or wrap them around an edge of something. And I also... I did try it in one of my handmade molds. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but... That's that, and where am I? Very easy to cut. I mean, you can cut resin up to a certain point, like if you need to trim it out, you, but you pretty much need to do it right after you've taken it out of the mold, because then it does get very hard. And then you almost have, you pretty much have to sand it after that. Okay, and then we have the one with these decorative elements. There it is. They're so pretty. I mean, I would even think about, you know, if you're dressing up, um, you know, a piece of furniture or something like that, I bet you could use these on furniture, and I'm actually going to try it at some point. I don't know when, but that's the plan. <laughs> And then we get into some of the more detailed, delicate laces. So these are the narrow ones. And I can't hold this one straight up or they'll fall off. But it, it really captures the detail in these molds just really, really well. There is a larger one. Again, flexible. large one another one so unlike re unlike with resin you could snip these just like regular laces and use them how you want to. And another one. There's 
actually two of those. And another. And this is one of my favorite molds with the, um, the lattice and the flowers. So the one, the one thing about this that makes it more time consuming than using resin um, is that it's very hard to get the, um, the film layer that lays on top of the mold. Um, I mean, you can pull it up and you can take your time and, you know, cut it all out and everything. Um, and what uh, 47 CMC said is to use um, rubbing alcohol and like a magic eraser type sponge and I kept meaning to go out and, and grab one but didn't get around to it. I did use the rubbing alcohol but I used a microfiber cloth and it worked. Um, you know, it, does, it does take time to do it to get in all the little areas and everything um, but it did work and I think next time I might actually try my citrus off and see what that does. Um, but yeah, you've got to take some time and do some elbow grease unless you want to pull it up and try to cut everything out. But it's worth the effort. I mean, you can basically, doing it this way, you can basically have an endless supply of lace. <laughs> uh, molding paste. Um, doing this is more economical than resin uh, but if, if you want a good firm solid piece absolutely use the resin um, I do not recommend doing this for um, deep very detailed molds didn't come out <laughs> I don't know if it's One, it takes forever to dry, and two, if you pull it out and it's not dry, you're going to spend some time getting the rest of that molding paste out of your mold. So, definitely don't recommend doing anything deep with detail, anything deep in general. I think the uh, fondant type molds are your best bet, or if you have very shallow molds that you've made from pieces of jewelry and things like that. Um, like this. This was a very shallow one, so it did work. It took a little longer to dry. Um, that's something else, too. The resin really doesn't take that long to dry. Um, these, I... Some of them I let set at least six hours. Yeah, most of them overnight, just to be sure. And I did not take them out of the molds until after I had gone through and cleaned up all the uh, the residue that was sitting on the mold itself, on the surface of the mold, so that it wouldn't come up with the piece once it was lifted out. So, Erla, thank you for introducing me to this. Uh, 47 CMC, thank you for the, uh, for the tutorials and testing that you did. Just great, awesome information. Um, I am going to see if I can find, figure out an easier way to get these cleaned. <laughs> and if I, if I come across something, then I will for sure let you know. Okay, thank you all so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.